the Indian National Army War Museum situated at the INA Memorial Complex at Moirang, Manipur is a significant place of visit for all the Indians. This museum and the complex managed by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Manipur is dedicated to the brave soldiers of the Indian National Army and particularly to the liberator of India, Nitaji Subhash Chandra Bose. This INA War Memorial Complex came into existence and started its foundation since 1955 onwards. And it started its complex by building the first INA uh, War Museum in the old museum site. And later on, in, in, by 1969, uh, the museum got completed and it was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister of India, Srimati. Indira Gandhi in 1969. The great nationalist leader of India, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, who dedicated his entire life for the freedom of his motherland and to throw the colonial British out of India. Bose, also known as Netaji or the great leader, formed the provisional government of free India in Singapore in 1943 with the recognition of 11 independent nations. The government had its own civic code, bank, currency notes, postage stamps, an army and most importantly the wholehearted support of the Indians living in the entire South Asia. Netaji's aim was to fight the British forces with the help of Japan. The INA Japanese forces achieved initial success at the Arakan Hills of Burma. Winning the Battle of Moirang as a part of the Imphal campaign was a great success for the INA. We are present at the INA Museum at Moirang, Manipur.
which is near to the capital of Manipur that is the city of Imphal. This is about 50 kilometers away from the city of Imphal. This particular place is, uh, is having a great significance in the history of Indian freedom struggle because the Indian National Army led by none other than the liberator of India, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, fought here against the Indo-American forces during the Second World War. The Indo-Japanese forces, that is, Japanese forces along with the Azadin Forge or the Indian National Army fought here and won the battle at Moirang. So this is a place which is like a pilgrimage for all the Indians and the tricolor was first hoisted by the commander or the uh, commander of, the, of that particular troop, uh, Colonel Shaukat Ali Malik here at Moirang. It was the sacred land of Moirang where for the first time the Indian tricolor was hoisted by Colonel Shaukat Ali Malik of the INA after defeating the Anglo-American forces during the Second World War on April 14, 1944. During the Second World War, Moirang was the headquarters of the Indian National Army or the INA. The INA received the help and the support from the local people of Manipur like Sri Mairembang K. Singh and others. And significantly, this place also happens to be the uh, sacred place which is called Moirang Kangla where the where the kings of Moirang were also coronated at this place. And after the plantation of the flag here at Moirang, Moirang became war filled for three months and a fierce battle was fought between the Allied and the Exist. And the Exist INA also took the help of the Exist force and Moirang was made the headquarter for three months uh, during the war time. And the headquarter is also not very far away from this INA memorial complex. It must be around uh, just one or two, one and a half kilometer away from here. And one good news is that this headquarter has also been recently uh, taken over, going to be taken over by the government of in, uh, Manipur, and it will be made into an heritage site. And so since then, on uh, since 1944 onwards, after the plantation of the INA flag here at this sacred place, at this place, the whole memorial complex have started developing since 1955. Then finally it got over in 1969 and the museum has been dedicated here uh, and uh, dedicated to the brave soldiers of the INA and especially to Netazi and his activities. And we have displayed and uh, the photographs of Netaji Subhasandra along with his activities of the INA as well as the war artifacts which we have been collecting from the war fields, battlefields of in and around Manipur. As we enter the complex, we can see the grand statue of Netaji and the war memorial, which is a replica of the INA war memorial built at the orders of Netaji in Singapore and which was later destroyed by the British forces. This is a very important monument at this complex, which was unveiled by 
the prime, former Prime Minister of India, Srimati Indira Gandhi. This is the replica of the INA War Memorial, which was built under the orders of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. The INA Museum displays wartime relics and photographs. The museum displays a fine collection of arms and ammunition, helmets and other articles used by the soldiers during the war. The museum displays very beautifully the photographs of Netaji, starting from his childhood, then to becoming the Congress president, meeting Hitler and Premier Tojo during his submarine journey to the formation of the Free India Government. We also see books, documents, wartime photographs, manuscripts, letters and periodicals of the INA at the museum. The complex also has a library dedicated to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. After capturing Moirang, the Japanese INA forces advanced towards Imphal, making the Allies retreat all the way. And then the decisive battle of the Red Hill was fought. The British forces could bring reinforcements and had the support of the superior air cover. And the Japanese INA forces, after suffering huge casualties, had to retreat. This memorial complex is now under the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Manipur, and we have been uh, observing uh, the three important programs and anniversary functions starting beginning from the uh, Netaji Subhasandra uh, bird anniversary which falls on 23rd January every year and the second comes the 14 April which is the flag hoisting day and the third one is the 21st October that is the anniversary for the formation of the provisional government of free India which was formed in Singapore in 1943 and this time, uh, as the Prime Minister of India is also taking uh, uh, so much interest in uh, 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 celebrating the uh, bird anniversary of Netaji Subhas and Rabost, as well, as well as recently we have also celebrated the Azadika Amrut, that is the 75 years of India's independence, which we have launched here at this very campus. Uh, by flagging off a rally of the students and more than 1,000 students have participated in the rally that was on 12th March and now in the coming 14 April, this coming 14 April we will be celebrating the flag hoisting 
uh, anniversary function in a very grand and uh, very big one where we are expecting our chief minister to be the chief guest and we will be celebrate, started celebrating a few days before the 14 April. So we are very happy with that also and even the prime minister is also taking so much interest with the program. Thank you. Later, in independent India, the Japanese government built the India Peace Memorial near Imphal and near the Red Hills in memory of the soldiers who gave their lives during that fierce battle. Just near to the memorial, on the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Imphal, the Imphal Peace Museum was inaugurated in June 2019, which is a joint project of the Nippon Foundations and the Sasakawa Peace Foundation of Japan in collaboration with the government of Manipur. We are here in Imphal Peace Museum and this museum was inaugurated on 10, 22nd of June uh, 2019. And this place is very important one because with related to the Second World War, the real fighting is happening happening there. This is the Red Hill. And the real eye to eye confrontation fighting between the Allied Force and the Japanese was there in this Red Hill itself. So this place is very significant significant one. So dedicated to those uh, heroes, we are dedicating this museum. Like this museum has different section about war related to Second World War and about the post war and life and culture of the people of Manipur. In the war section, we are displaying uh, about the timeline of the battle from like Second World War is a very long battle from 1939-45. Actually, but actually in the soil of Manipur, the battle was fighting from 1942 to 44. Uh, 44. And these two, three years it is very important uh, years in the history of Manipur. Like the local people were uh, experiencing the horror of the war. Like they were just a mere spectator lot of uh, soldiers from different parts of the world, they came here and fighting uh, here. So uh, these things are there in the war section and in the post-war section it is about the healing process like about the recovery and we are displaying also something about the sports and uh, art and culture like Manipur is very good in these things. And in, in another section we have uh, life and culture of the people of Manipur. And we have a very, very big hall which is dedicated to like different different tribes of Manipur. Like they were around uh, 32 recognized tribes. We are displaying different photographs of these, their respective tribes and their uh, in their traditional attire. So that's all. Lastly, we must mention that expert historians and the declassified British documents suggest that even in defeat. Netaji and his INA led to a new awakening in India, which followed the Red Fort trials, then protests in many parts of India, rebellions in the Indian armed forces, which rattled the British enough to accelerate India's march towards independence.